Hi everyone, it's Tina Level with Scrapbooking with Tina and today is another fun project with the creative video design team. For my project, I decided to create a really fun and really easy masculine theme card. I am using the new Wild and Free stamps and thin cut bundle along with the Yesterday and Today paper pack. For this card, you're basically building a card front. So I'm going to start with your standard size card front, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna layer two pieces of cardstock and background and texture paper on top from the Yesterday and Today paper collection. Now to make those fun folds, I'm going to use a four by 12 piece of background and texture paper, and I'm going to cut two pieces at four by three. Then I'm going to use my scoring tool and score them on the one inch mark so that they can be folded up just like I'm doing. So then once I folded it, I flip it over and fold the two corners down to that fold line to make a triangle flap. Once that flap is made, I'm going to add adhesive to those pieces so that the flap is secure as a triangle fold. This is going to be the folding mechanism part of the card that allows you to open the card and see what is on the inside. I also added a little bit of espresso ink to the edge of that just for fun. So once I've layered the background and texture paper onto the fern card stock, I am attaching those fun fold pieces right to that piece of paper. I'm attaching it to the back side on the one inch score line. Then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna attach the entire thing to the card base. And this is basically the base of your card. Now for the fun part. I've got a four inch wide piece of fern card stock and I'm tearing it by pulling it towards me to show the white edge. I then flipped over one of the pieces so that I have a dark and a light side of cardstock and two sides of the white torn edge showing and I'm attaching them to the bottom of the inside of the card. I wanted it to kind of look like grass, like the elk is standing out in a field. So now I'm going to put together the decorative element <clears throat> and I am using the largest circle from the confetti shaker window thin cuts and then I'm also using a standard circle from our basic thin cuts. I just used my cuddle bug and cut one more um, circle off of a scrap of green uh, cardstock so that I could add that to the bottom of the circle so the elk looks like he's standing on grass and then it also matches the theme that I created on the inside of the card. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the image and I just set my die cut on a piece of espresso paper so that I could see the outline easier when I stamped it with the clear stamps. Next I'm going to color it with our watercolor pencils and I just pulled out several colors and decided which ones I liked and I'm not doing anything fancy just a quick color adding darker colors to the area where the stamp actually shows shading and here's one that I've completely colored. Now what I'm going to do is take our clear shimmer brush, which is like a water brush, but it has shimmer, and I'm actually going to blend the watercolor pencil all together. So I started with the lightest side of the elk, the area where I used the least amount of watercolor pencil, and then work my way towards the dark edge. Let me hold it closer here so that you can kind of see what it looks like as it's blending the different shades of pencil together, and hopefully you can see how how neat the shimmer looks. Now I know elk aren't shimmery in real life but you know what this is my card and I like shimmer so that's how I'm blending it. Now I'm just gonna add a little black to the nose and the hooves and then he will be ready to add to the card. So I'm gonna add the circle element that I created and I'm going to use a sticky tape, double-sided tape to add that. I want it to hold really well because this is where people will be um, moving, grabbing to open and close the card. So I don't want it to come off. And I only added it to the tip. Now I've uh, stamped a little sentiment and I'm gonna layer it together and then I'm gonna add foam tape to the back side, to the bottom edge, just in the middle of the bottom edge so I can attach it to the bottom flap. What this is gonna do is allow me to tuck that circle in to hold the card closed. See how that looks? 
Now I'm going to add, take the backing off the foam tape and add the elk to the card. Now the last couple of things I'm going to do is of course add embellishments. You guys know from my videos I love these loose sequins we carry. And I'm going to pick out the ones I want and I'm going to stick them right on the glue dot, right on the roll of tape. And then I'll pull them off and add them right to the card. You can use um, anything to pull it off. I generally just grab it with my fingers, but a lot of people like to use tweezers or the scissors like I'm showing you right here um, to just slide it off of the roll and right onto the project. So the last thing I'm going to do is add a circle with our vanilla cardstock so that I have a place to write on the card. Um, that doesn't show through when the card is closed. So that's where I'll put my sentiment and then I'm stamping happy birthday And I'm using the say it in style stamp set that we brought back this year But how fun and easy is that? So be sure and check out Jama's video She is next in the hop and I have her video linked below 